Today we're continuing our prayer journey through the Sermon on the Mount, and we're at this section called Concerning Oaths from Matthew 5, 33 through 37. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, you shall not swear falsely, but carry out the vows you have made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by earth, for it is God's footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let your word be yes, yes, or no, no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. So I invite you to close your eyes, to settle into prayer, to settle in to a moment with God. And I want you to keep in your head the words, let your word be. Let your word be. Let your word be. Let your word be. God, you invite us to think about words today about how we make promises, about how we say we're telling the truth. And you want to simplify it. You don't want us to make false promises on your name. You want us to be truthful in our word, to be honest in our words. You want us to be judged by our words. Let your word be. So God, we stop today, now, in this moment, to let our words be. God, we ask you to help us to let our words be yes. When we're invited into your kingdom, when we're invited into your kingdom of love, when we're invited to take part in your journey, let our words be yes. And when we're invited into places and with people that draw us away from you, that draw us away from ourselves, help us to learn the power of saying the word no. And oh God, I am just struck by those three words. Four words. Let your word be. Let your word be. You invite us to think about words. To think about how we use them and how others use them. And we've been in a place here in the United States where there have been so many false words. So many words that have been untruthful. So many promises that have been broken. So many fake words. And you want us to take us back to the simplicity of letting our word be. Let our word be as we seek out the truthful words. Let our word be as we seek out honest words. Let our word be as we share the power of our stories, of our truth. Let our word be as we listen so that we can hear the power of other people's stories. And as we let your, your word and our word be, we stop in this moment and pray for those who are weighing on our hearts. We pray for our country. We pray for the people and places that aren't taking the dangers seriously. We pray for those who have COVID-19, for those who have recently lost someone who died to COVID-19, and we pray for all of our healthcare workers.
the doctors and nurses and aides and janitors. We pray for them as they struggle to cope and deal with this disease that has consumed so much of our lives and our time. And we pray for the families who are dealing with grief. Grief that they can't express in a normal way. So God, we ask you to be with us today, to be with our families, to be with the, those we know who are in need of your prayer, who are facing surgery, who are recovering from an illness, who are making changes in their lives, moving places, meeting new people in new places. And God, we pray for our children. May you surround them with your love. May you encourage them. May you help them to grow. May you help their words to grow fully and completely. Oh God, we ask you to be with us this day, to stop here a moment. God, may your kingdom come here on earth. May your will be done. Amen.